Okay, welcome to the summary of phase three. Uh, with us here is Dr. Simon Wong. Uh, over to you, Simon. Um, so uh, the phase three recordings, which are part of the program for you guys, is uh, a preview into um, uh, what it would be like for a live experience in what we call the phase four live experience. Uh, the phase three recordings are of previous students who attended live experience through um, HIPAA compliant privacy protected um, uh, Zoom meetings where we had eight recordings with two hours of live Q&A where uh, the students were allowed to submit cases for critique and um, we included within that process uh, practice manuals that are part of my own practice as well as um, uh, the recordings of a day in the life of my practice. Now, due to COVID situations, we haven't been able to uh, run that particular live session yet, but that will be part of the package that is included in your process. Now, the, the most important component of the uh, 22 hours of uh, scientific CPD credits is that we have 73 cases that were submitted by the um, the dentists who are part of the study group. We uh, have been able to create um, feedback and critique of the uh, from the PowerPoints that were submitted for the records. And uh, my, I was able to outline um, the uh, treatment that I would follow and my recommendations. So during that 12 week process, students were able to uh, upload every two weeks their cases for uh, critique and uh, feedback. We were we set a specific format, which I will share with you so that you've got an idea of some of the materials that were submitted and the, the way that we uh, helped the students through that process. So uh, in the uh, web page, you'll be able to download one of the examples. And this is uh, a case for Jonathan, one of the pediatric uh, specialists who attended the course and is part of the phase four program. Um, she presented uh, her records. Uh, we went through the overlay process that we discussed in the introduction course, how we utilize the um, analysis to give uh, the dentist, an understanding of the process, um, the uh, parents who will be presented this information, an understanding of the analysis, and of course, for me to give feedback. Uh, we went through things like uh, cephalometric analysis, uh, the intraoral images, uh, the uh, model analysis, and the x-ray ev evaluation. Then each of the students would present their diagnosis and their treatment plans, and then um, put together some design uh, that would meet the criteria for the mechanics that are involved in the treatment process. Uh, we have records that are progressive. So what that means that uh, as the treatment uh, proceeds through, we ask the students to continue to document and to submit those documentation so that I can oversee the treatment and act as a supervisor of some description. We look at the appliances, uh, how they were designed, how they're being utilized, and we look at the progress of change that occurs uh, with the system that I hopefully will have passed on as to uh, appropriate for the uh, case at hand. Uh, we like to look at comparisons. So we set up uh, the uh, process of how we can uh, do before and afters. I'll make specific comments on each of the progresses and uh, give my uh, responses um, every two weeks. The process, uh, as we progress becomes quite clear to be good information to help everyone understand what actually happens within the patient's mouth and extra orally as well. So um, the documentation, we try to be as complete as possible and as regular as possible. So every four or six weeks, new records are taken with the photographs and we try to get a sense of how 
it progresses in real time. We can talk a lot, but there's nothing more powerful than images. And the power of taking progress records is invaluable in the learning process for both the uh, dentists and um, to keep the parents abreast of what's happening in their child's mouth. We talk about the different designs and um, I, again, I'll have verbal uh, comments and I will follow up with written comments. And so we keep adding to the collection so that each case becomes a full history of what's going on, how it came about, what we're doing about it, and what we're going to do to make things better for the children. The um, overall process I think has been very, very valuable for the students because they've been able to see what's happening in each other's hands and get my feedback and uh, assistance in that regard. Terrific. And, and just to clarify, there's 73 of these cases and you asked us as part of, you know, operations to classify it and put it into folders by specific classifications, right? And those roughly those classifications in, included, if I recall, things like uh, class one, um, crowding versus spacing, cl uh, class two, div one, div two. I'm not a dentist, so I've got no clue what all this means. High angle, low angle, class three, pseudo dental, miscellaneous and open bite dental versus skeletal. So we've put all 73 uh, into week by week, uh, so to speak, as well as classifications. So that is all available uh, in terms of written format in the in PDF. It's, we converted the PowerPoints into PDF, as well as every every two weeks we recorded the Zoom call where Simon gave the live critique and got extra questions, obviously from uh, the particular student. So that that's all. It's like a vault, you could say, of all these cases. Very invaluable. Um, kind of hands-on, uh, you know, be a fly on the wall to see what others have been doing over that period. So anything else you want to add about, um, you know, this process, which is really going to be replicated live in phase four. So if you, once you complete phase one, two, three, which is predominantly the bulk of 60 hours or so of, you know, live sessions that happen, full day sessions, uh, two, three hour sessions, Q and A sessions, all recorded systematically laid out, and then on top of all the practice manuals, on top of all these type of extra resources for people to study, after you go through all that is when you can apply to get into the live mentoring, which is an ongoing thing. We've structured it with Simon. So it's every two weeks live. You can join at any point. So when you finish phase one, two, and three, when you're ready, when you feel like this is something where you want to take uh, on and in, as a, in a live experience and submit your own personal cases, that's when you apply to get into phase four. And application means filling out a form and then scheduling a one-on-one -on -one call with Simon to make sure this is a good fit, right? So uh, there's also a few extra parts to phase three. If you can scroll down, Simon, what else do we have here? Oh yes, the Facebook group, if I may. Um, we, we really try to replicate kind of the experience that people had last year but at the same time, give people the option to compress literally the roughly nine months that they went through phase one, two, and three that was spread out. And if you really want to, you know, zoom through all 60 plus hours of content, you can do that at your convenience. But at the same time, we're giving everyone this additional six months access to the closed Facebook group where you can submit questions for Simon. Now, when you join the two day intro course, you get either one or three months of access to this closed Facebook group where you can ask questions after the event uh, to Simon related to the two day intro course. When you enroll in the advanced program, phase one to three, you get an additional six months where you can submit your questions. And there's like close to a hundred people in this group and they can give their feedback. It's, it's a study group, right? And Simon as well will obviously be chipping in, uh, answering questions. Just to clarify, Simon, you can't submit the full uh, 50 pages, you know, whatever Simon requests of people when you get into phase four in terms of providing certain x-rays, certain pictures. We have a whole protocol 
uh, when you before you submit a case to Simon, we've got specifically what he needs before he can give an evaluation and his own feedback. Uh, you can't do that inside the Facebook group because it's not HIPAA compliant and that's not part of the phase three experience in this particular format. It's only available for phase four. Now, in the, however, uh, you can submit general questions related to the course. And you said, Simon, uh, before we started recording, you can submit like a picture of, you know, an, an anonymized. Yeah. So we're, we're looking at uh, the various formats that allow for privacy laws and HIPAA compliance. And uh, Facebook uh, does not uh, allow for that. So we're limiting to general questions and any specifics to intra-all images and um, trying to give you some answers to questions that are related to general questions for uh, the introduction course and the postural orthodontic uh, phase advanced phase uh, questions. Mm -hmm. What we are happy to do is help you to understand the material that we've been teaching, uh, the theory that we've been teaching. Uh, we do reserve the case records and the specific uh, supervision of clinical cases um, to the phase four program. Uh, the phase three program for you guys who have access to the Facebook group will be uh, general knowledge questions, but you can, you can shoot up an image of an intraoral image of an appliance or of uh, an arch and ask a general question, of course, about that specific um, malocclusion. Terrific. And then there's one other point, as you can see on screen here. Uh, last year when we held phase three, we gave people the option of either just getting the recordings of visiting, you know, a day in the life of Simon, uh, actually visiting Simon's practice for those uh, who, you know, want to travel to Melbourne, Australia. Um, however, due to COVID, uh, we haven't yet been able to do that. Um, there is always still that option. If you want to reach out to us, send us an email if you want to do a clinical visit. Uh, hopefully by what's your best guess, you know, who knows, um, we're, we're just waiting for our vaccination program to uh, kick into effect so that um, the uh, practice uh, staff have been vaccinated and then um, we'll open up a little bit more freedom in uh, allowing um, non-family members to attend the clinics. So at this point in time, um, we're looking at mid-year when the um, clinic will be open to uh, having someone come in to uh, either attend clinical session or to help us record the attendance of that clinical session. And uh, what I would recommend is that you contact us if you're interested in this through our uh, info at straightteethnaturally.com uh, email link. And uh, we'll be able to fill you in on those details. Yeah, if, or the in-person one-day clinical with uh, me and my practice. Yeah, even you know, if you have any interest, to send us an email. Uh, there's only limited, obviously, uh, slots that are available uh, later. This, this is what this is 2021. We're talking about here, mid, hopefully mid, you know, third quarter uh, of 2021, where we will start schedule opening up particular dates. Uh, so if you're interested, just shoot us an email. Some of you are evaluating this right now in April uh, of 2021. So let us know. Uh, we'll give you all the details, um, et cetera. And then I guess that's it. So the advanced course format in summary, you know, you're going to get all the recordings of phase one, two, and three from last year's live events. Uh, you get the recordings of a one-day clinical when we do it. Uh, you get the advanced practice manuals, contracts, templates, scripts, uh, the, the bonus marketing course, for me, I'm the head of marketing uh, at Postural Orthodontics, Simon's uh, brother, helping putting this all together logistically. And you get additional six months access to our closed Facebook group. My background is not in healthcare. It's all in you know strategy consulting with Fortune 100 in the last 20 years in internet startups and working with uh, thought leaders, Tony Robbins, Robert Kiyosaki's of the world, helping them with their video marketing uh, helping there with their course creations and so on. So 
uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun, obviously, helping my brother put this all together. So we put together, I've had a, a flagship program that were included for free. There's 20 odd hours of training. If you're interested in social media marketing, video marketing, creating your, all, your own content, your own training material down the track, uh, such as we are doing here. So that's included as part of the advanced course. The details, the pricing is down. Uh, you'll find it on the website, wherever the latest pricing is. And I believe that's it. So phase three, a very complete summary um, to wrap up the uh, the advanced program, phase one to three. Phase four, there's details for phase four on the website. Uh, you can check that out uh, below uh, and and so on and so forth. All right. So thank you, Simon. Any final comments? Um, that's about it. No, we, um, I, I think that's going to be an excellent program, a combination of uh, my clinical assistance and um, Kian's marketing prowess. I, I think we can help uh, establish a, a, a positive change um, to your early intervention orthodontic practice. We have a lot of details with the FAQs and I recommend you go through uh, all the, you know, the, the details that we've laid out on this page um, and f feel free to reach out to us if you've got any questions that we haven't clarified on this website. All right. So that wraps up this uh, summary of our advanced program, phase one, two, three. All right. Okay. Thank you, Simon. Thank you all. Hope to see you either uh, in the live two-day event or if you've already completed it, hope to see you inside the Facebook group as part of the advanced program. All right. And uh, hopefully phase four when it when the time comes. All right. Great. Thanks. Guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.